Hi all welcome back to Easy School Works In this video we are going to learn about properties of addition of whole numbers So let's get started We have four properties of addition Those are closure property commutative property associative property and property of zero First we start with closure property Closure property sum of two whole numbers is always a whole number let us say if a and b are any two whole numbers then a plus b is a whole number let us see with the examples take any two whole numbers here i am taking 3 and 4 now add them 3 plus 4 is how much 7 and 7 is a whole number okay let us take another set of whole numbers take 4 and 6 add them 4 plus 6 is 10 10 is a whole number okay so sum of any two whole numbers is a whole number so we can conclude that the whole numbers are closed under addition now commutative property when two whole numbers are added in any order their sum remains same let us say if a and b are any two whole numbers then a plus b is equal to b plus a let us see with the example take two whole numbers 7 and 5 first add 7 and 5 the sum is 12 right now change the order means add 5 and 7 Here also the result is twelve. Even though we changed the order, the sum remains same. This property is known as commutative property. Now associative property: the sum of more than two whole numbers does not change even if we change the grouping. Let us say if A, B, C are any three whole numbers, then first add A and B. and then add c okay now change the grouping first add b and c and then add a in these two cases the sum remains same this is associative property let us see with the example take the whole numbers 2 3 and 5 okay first add 2 and 3 then add 5 See here, two plus three is five, right? Plus five. Five plus five is how much? Ten. Okay. Now change the grouping. First add three and five. Three plus five is eight. Now add two. Two plus eight is how much? Ten. In these two cases, the sum remains same. This property is called as associative property. Now property of zero. when zero is added to any whole number the result is the whole number itself let us say if a is the whole number then a plus 0 is equal to a or else 0 plus a is equal to a let us see with the example add 5 and 0 5 plus 0 is equal to 5 okay now add 0 and 5 0 plus 5 is equal to 5 Okay now add 9 plus 0 9 plus 0 is 9 itself see when 0 is added to the whole number the result is the whole number itself this is the property of zero so zero is called the additive identity of whole numbers okay i hope this video is very helpful to you if you like my video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon thank you